Dmitro shows a photo of his seven-year-old son, Maxim, who has not seen him for almost two months. Before the full-scale invasion, the man opened a car repair shop and painted cars. But from the first days of war, he voluntarily joined the Ukrainian armed forces. I was drafted into Air Command East. We were first in the city for a very long time. And then we were assigned to the Marines and we fought there. Dmitro was serving in the Avdiivka direction in in mid-July 2023, the men took part in counter-offensive operations in Donetsk region. Then the defense forces managed to liberate several settlements. In the village of Staromayorske, Dmitro's group came under fire from Russian artillery, as a result of which he received several shrapnel wounds. Uh, no. I was stunned at that moment, apparently very badly, and could not hear anything, because I was shouting, calling the guys, there was no one there and there was shelling. They said they heard me, but they could not come out, because there was shelling. When it was over, they pulled me out and helped. Dmitro immediately felt that he could not move his legs. He was evacuated in a critical condition. The first surgeries to remove the fragments were carried carried out in Dnipro and then in Kyiv. In recent months, the defender has been recovering in the unbroken rehabilitation center in Lviv. He has a spinal cord injury. As you can see, there is a very strong spasticity due to the spinal cord injury, so it is important to work very slowly. It is recommended to do simple stretching. It can take a little bit of load of the spastic muscles and reduce the strength of the spasticity. The results are already visible. The metro can feel almost his whole body and can stand for a short time. The doctors say that the man will be able to walk after full rehabilitation the defender plans to return to his favorite business and restart his own car repair shop. But most of all, he wants to play football with his son. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Bil, Vadim Dmitriev, UATV News.